everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a one hour full body Pilates workout for you. So when you are ready to get started, take a comfortable cross-legged position on your mat, sitting up nice and tall with your fingertips resting on the mat beside you. Close your eyes and gently drop your right ear down to your right shoulder, feeling a nice stretch through the left side of your neck and taking this time to tune in to your breath. Then carefully drop your chin down towards your chest, feeling a nice stretch now through the back of your neck. Then lift your chin back up and bring your head back through center. Let's switch sides. Drop your left ear now down to your left shoulder feeling a nice stretch to the right side of our neck. And then drop your chin down towards your chest. Still taking nice deep breaths here. Lift your chin up and bring your head back through center. Open your eyes now. Inhale, reach your right arm up to the sky and exhale, side bend over to your left stretching through the right side of our body here. Then take your right hand behind your head, elbow wide. Inhale, turn your chest up towards the sky and exhale, turn your chest down towards the mat. So inhale as you open your heart up towards the sky and exhale as you close your elbow down towards your left knee. Let's do one more just because this feels so nice for our body. And then hold through center, release your right arm by your ear and lift back up. Inhale, left arm reaches up, exhale, side bend over to your right. Feeling a nice stretch now through the left side of your body. Taking nice deep breaths. Then left hand goes behind your head, elbow wide. Inhale, turn your heart up towards the sky and exhale down towards the mat. Keeping your elbow nice and wide. Preparing our body for the workout to come. Last one and hold through center, release your left arm by your ear and come back up. Take your feet out in front of you now, your knees come to a three quarter bend and your feet are hip distance apart. Hands behind your thighs, inhale, lengthen your spine, look slightly up and exhale, round your spine back, dropping your chin, feeling a nice stretch through your back. One more, inhale, lift and exhale round. On your next inhale, find your straight spine and release your arms forward in line with your shoulders. Exhale, round your spine back, dropping your ribs down towards your hips and inhale, come back up, finding that straight spine. Three more. Each time that you round your spine back, I want you to think of slightly tucking your pelvis under and dropping your ribs down to your hips. Last one, hold in your C curve here. Inhale, lift your arms up to the sky, lower them, exhale, open them wide and bring them back through center. So you lift, lower, open, and close. Inhale each time that you lift your arms up. Exhale as you open. Try to keep your shoulders nice and relaxed here and avoid flaring through your rib cage as you lift your arms up. So focus on keeping your ribs dropping down towards your hips. Let's do one more and hold your arms through center. Make fists now and squeeze your fists together, elbows wide. Exhale, twist to one side, then the other side. So exhaling as you twist and a quick little inhale as you come through center. Last one. 
Let's do one more each side and now speed it up. You just twist and twist for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Lift your chest, straighten your legs, take a nice inhale and exhale, forward fold over your legs, feeling a nice stretch through the back of your legs. Then carefully roll yourself up to seated. Okay, let's do that same sequence again, but this time with our legs straight. So squeeze your thighs together. Inhale, reach your arms forward. Exhale, round your spine back. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, round back. We do two more of these. So this is a little bit more challenging with our legs straight. So I want you to squeeze your thighs together to help you. Last one, hold in your C curve, strong abdominals. Inhale, reach your arms up, lower, exhale, open and close. You have seven more of these. So just like what we did before, we're focusing on relaxing our shoulders, keeping our ribs in, dropping our ribs down towards our hips and squeezing our thighs together. Keep breathing. Two more. And last one. Let's hold our arms through center. Squeeze your fists together, elbows wide. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. You have four more before we speed things up. Last one, let's go. You twist and twist nice and quickly. You have six more, five, four, keep breathing, three, two, and one. Well done. Lift your chest and stretch over your legs. Hopefully your core is nice and warmed up now because you know we're gonna give it a really good workout. Let's flex our feet now and draw your toes back towards your chest. Lift your chest and take nice deep breaths, feeling a release through the back of our legs. Then carefully release and roll back up. Take your hands underneath your shoulders, fingertips pointing forward and lift your hips up towards the ceiling just for a moment so that you feel a nice release through your hip flexors. Then carefully come back down. Let's cross our legs now and come onto our hands and our knees. Make sure that your hands are underneath your shoulders, your knees are hip distance apart and directly underneath your hips. Draw your navel in towards your spine. Extend your right leg back behind you and your left arm forward. Then lift your arm and leg up on your exhale. Inhale, lower the arm and leg back down. So exhale as you lift and inhale as you lower. Really focusing on creating a one long line through your body and keeping your navel drawing up towards your spine. Let's do two more. And last one, hold your arm and leg lifted. Now keeping your abs nice and engaged, reach your left arm back, bend your right knee and tap your right toes if you can and then find that nice straight line again. So inhale as you reach the left arm back and bend your right knee. Exhale as you straighten your arm and leg along. You have three more of these. Keep pressing down through your right shoulder lifting up through your navel last one and hold your arm and leg long let's pulse our arm and leg up now you just lift up and up four eight seven six five four three two and one hold your leg lifted take your left hand down onto the mat and then curl your right toes under and press them into the mat on your exhale, press through your shoulders and draw your left knee in towards your chest. Inhale, set the left knee down. 
exhale lift the right leg back up again inhale bend your elbows in by your waistline exhale press up then inhale set your right toes back down and exhale pull your knee in towards your chest so we repeat this series a few more times this is a challenging little sequence we're really getting into our abdominals getting into our triceps as well as our glutes so try to pair one breath per movement so inhale set the right foot down exhale pull the left knee in towards your chest inhale left knee comes down exhale lift the right leg inhale bend your elbows exhale press on this next one hold your left knee pulled in towards your chest and let's just pulse the knee in and in press through your shoulders lift through your abdominals two more and last one good job set your left foot back and press back into a downward facing dog pedal your heels alternate bending your knees releasing any tension then gently walk your hands back towards your feet soft bend through your knees hold on to your elbows and take a moment to sway side to side maybe nod your head yes shake your head no releasing any tension and very carefully roll yourself all the way up to standing from here walk your feet out to their mat distance apart and your toes are turned out draw your navel in towards your spine finding your pilates posture and arms by your sides inhale sit your hips low finding your squat exhale press up so inhale lower exhale press so in your squats really make sure that you're shifting your weight back into your heels sending your glutes far behind you and finding one long line all the way from your tailbone to the crown of your head now hold low in your squat slightly take your gaze up to find your neutral spine exhale extend your right arm back inhale back through center exhale left arm extends back inhale back through center six more of these i really want you to pull your elbow back first and then extend through your arm so that we get into the backs of our arms and get our triceps nice and fired up hold through center now let's pulse it down and down just for six five four three two and one good job take the hands to the tops of your thighs and gently roll yourself up to standing i'm going to turn to face you just so that i can mirror you to make things easier and that you can see me bend into your left knee extend your right leg out by your side hands go behind your head elbows wide exhale lift the leg up and down four times this is your last one here and now pull your right knee to your left elbow four times really using your obliques here make sure that your left knee stays nice and bent let's do that again but two times this time so two leg lifts and then two elbows two knees and again exhale lift inhale lower exhale inhale exhale twist inhale center okay now let's just do it one time so you lift lower twist and center lift lower twist and center this is a bit of a challenge for our balance so if you are shaking and wobbling like me that is totally normal really good job three more times using your breath here keeping your elbows nice and wide this is your last one good job okay standing at the back edge of your mat again inhale reach your arms up exhale hinge forward from your hips bring your hands down to the mat and walk your hands forward 
Let's return back to our hands and our knees to get ready for our second sign. So pull your navel in towards your spine, extend your left leg back and your right arm forward. Exhale, lift your arm and leg up, inhale, lower. So exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Remember in this exercise, we're trying to create one long line through our body. So think one long line all the way from the tips of your fingers to the tips of your toes. Last one, hold your arm and leg lifted. On your inhale, reach your right hand back, bend your left knee, tap your toe, and exhale, straighten your arm and leg. So inhale as you reach back, bend your left knee, exhale as you extend. Trying to keep everything else still so our hips and our shoulders are parallel to the mat. We're pressing down through our left shoulder and drawing our navel up towards our spine. Hold your arm and leg straight. Let's lift the leg and arm up and up. Eight more and seven, six, five. Get ready for that combo. Three, two, and a one. Hold your leg lifted. Take your right hand down. Curl your left toes under. Press through your shoulders. Exhale, pull your right knee in towards your chest. Inhale, lower the knee down. Exhale, lift your left leg. Inhale, bend your elbows and exhale, press. Keep going. Exhale, pull your knee to the chest. Inhale, set it down. Exhale, lift your left leg. Tricep push up. One breath per movement. So exhale, right knee pulls. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift the leg. Inhale, bend the elbows, exhale, press. This is a challenging little sequence, but it really gets our whole entire body fired up. This is your last push up. You can do it. Now hold the right knee pulled in towards your chest, little pulses in and in, just for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Set your right foot back, press back into a downward facing dog and pedal your heels and bend your knees. Hopefully you're feeling nice and warm. I know I was. So walk your hands back towards your feet and gently roll yourself back up to standing. Let's come back to our squats. So walk your feet mat distance apart, toes turned out, Pilates posture. Inhale, squat down, exhale, press up. So inhale, squat, exhale, press. You have six more of these. Remember focusing on keeping your navel drawing up towards your spine, making sure that you're shifting your weight back into your heels, so that your knees stay tracking over your ankles. And last one, hold low in your squat. Exhale, reach your arms back behind you and inhale by your ears. So exhale, they sweep back. Inhale, they sweep forward. Good, five more of these. Try to keep sitting nice and low. Weight into your heels, belly button pulling up towards your spine. And one more. Hold your arms by your ears. Let's pulse it out. Down and down. Just for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold low. Take your hands to the tops of your thighs and gently roll your spine up vertebra by vertebra. Good job, everyone. Let's go back to that standing combo, that fun one. So I'm gonna mirror you again. Bend into your right knee, extend your left leg out to the side. Hands behind your head, elbows wide. Let's lift the left leg up four times, making sure it's in line with your hip and using your glute to lift the leg. Then pull right elbow to left knee four times, getting into our obliques. 
Good job. Now two times. Leg lifts up, down, up and down. Elbow pulls to the knee. Two times. And let's repeat it. You lift and lower. Lift and lower. Pull and pull. Okay, get ready. Just one time. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, twist. Inhale, open. We do this eight times. That's already two. So you have six more to go. Really concentrate on your breathing. Make sure that right knee stays nice and bent and you're slightly tucking your pelvis under so that you keep your spine nice and straight and really feel a nice squeeze through your left glute. And last one. Good job. That one is definitely a tough one for our glutes and for our balance. Okay, standing at the top edge of your mat now, take a big step back with your right foot. Make sure that your feet are in parallel and your hips are square. Bend your knees, finding your lunge position. Pull your abdominals in and tuck your pelvis under. Exhale, press up. Inhale, lunge down. So just some simple lunges here to really make sure our legs are nice and warm. I want you to make sure that your left knee stays stacked over your left ankle and that you're keeping your spine nice and straight. Last one. Hold low in your lunge here. Little challenge. I want you to shift your weight forward, lift your right leg, sweep your arms behind you, and then come back down into your low lunge. So exhale, shoot forward, lift the back leg, inhale, set back down into your lunge. Now you can take this as slow as you need to. It's more important that you're keeping your good form and making sure that your knees stay stacked over your ankles. On your next one, hold in that hinge position with your right leg lifted. Let's pulse the right leg up and up just for eight. Seven, stay nice and bent through your left knee. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up, well done. Give that left glute a nice little hit. And then step your left foot back now. Come down into your lunge, find your Pilates posture and reach your arms up. Exhale, press out of your lunge. Inhale, bend your knees. So inhale as you lunge down. Exhale as you press up. Really focus on pressing down through your back foot, finding a nice squeeze through your glutes. Making sure your right knee is stacked over your right ankle and you're keeping your spine super straight. Last one, hold low. Let's go back to that challenge. So shoot forward, lift your back leg, sweep your arms back, and then inhale, shift back to your lunge. So remember, take this as slow as you need to. It's more important that you have your good Pilates posture, you're keeping your good form, and that you're maintaining your breath. So exhale as you shoot forward, lift your leg. Inhale as you lunge back down. Last one, hold in your hinge with your leg extended back, arms by your side. Let's pulse the leg up and up just for eight. You can do it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two and one. Well done. Give your glutes a nice little hit. That's a challenging little sequence. Okay, bring your toes together and your heels slightly apart. Sweep your arms up by your ears and sit your hips low, coming into a low chair position. Squeeze your thighs and very carefully see if you can lower yourself all the way down to your mat. I bet you're happy to be back down on your mat after that crazy standing sequence. So holding on to the backs of your thighs, gently roll yourself all the way down onto your back. Then bend your knees. Let's find our imprinted spine. So using your abdominals, press your lower back down into the mat 
and lift your legs to a tabletop position. Knees are hip distance apart and directly stacked over our hips. Hands behind your head, elbows wide. Exhale, curl your head and shoulders up. Inhale, come back down. And then exhale, curl, hold your head and shoulders up. Tap your right toes down to the mat, then your left toes. Then we repeat. So lower your head down, exhale, we curl up two times. Hold our curl on the second one, tap your right toe, then your left toe. Keep going. Exhale as you curl your head and shoulders up. Inhale as you come back down, then inhale, tap the toe, exhale, tap the other toe. Let's do this one more time. And then we are going to level this up. So this time, two abdominal curls. And then let's tap both toes down on our inhale, exhale, lift, inhale, tap, exhale, lift. Repeat, two abdominal curls and two toe taps. So as you tap your toes down towards the mat, make sure that you're not lifting your lower back off the mat. So keep that imprinted spine. You have one more. So last toe taps here. Good job. Hug your knees in towards your chest. That should have really fired up your abdominals. For our next exercise, keep your knees hugged in towards your chest and lift your head and shoulders up, keeping your chin tucked in towards your chest. On your inhale, release your right arm and your right leg. Exhale, hug the knee back in. Then inhale, release left arm, left leg. Exhale, hug back in. Inhale, release both arms and legs. Exhale, hug. So we repeat, right arm, right leg, left arm, left leg, and then both arms and legs and hug back in. You have two more of these. Inhaling each time that you extend your arms and legs. Exhale as you hug everything back in. Good job guys, this is really challenging. Now from here, let's just extend both arms and legs out and we do this eight times. So inhale, arms and legs extend, exhale, hug back in. Really use your breath here to help you keep lifting your head and shoulder up off the mat, chin stays tucked in. Last one. Well done, hug your knees in, rest your head and turn your head right and left to release any tension through your neck. From here, set your feet down onto the mat, make sure they're hip distance apart and that they're shuffled in towards your glutes. Press your palms down into the mat and on your exhale, roll your hips up to a bridge position and inhale, control them back down. So exhale as you press your hips up, squeezing your glutes. Inhale as you roll them back down. So focus on rolling your hips up vertebra by vertebra by tucking your pelvis under and using your glutes to lift your hips. Then hold your hips high, release your arms up to the ceiling. Let's take our arms overhead and then down to the mat. So inhale as they sweep overhead, exhale as they come down to the mat. Keep pressing through your heels, squeezing your glutes and lifting your hips up towards the sky. But be careful that you're not arching through your back. So keep dropping your ribs down towards your hips and slightly tucking your pelvis under. Let's hold our arms up towards the ceiling now and alternate lifting one heel at a time. So just lift one heel up, lower, then the other heel and lower. Exhaling each time that you lift your heel up. Really trying to control the lift and lower of your heels so that your glutes really have to work. Good job. Last one. Then from here, let's lift both heels now, really pressing through the balls of our feet. 
lower your hips on your inhale, exhale, lift. So inhale, lower, exhale, lift. As you lift your hips up, think of tucking your pelvis under, squeezing your glutes and pressing down through the balls of your feet. Let's do two more. Try to keep your shoulders nice and relaxed. Last one, hold your hips high and let's go back to those arm movements. So inhale, arms reach overhead, exhale, they come down to the mat. So keeping your hips nice and still here, it's just your arms moving up and down. Nice breaths here. Inhale as they sweep by your ears. Exhale as they come down. Good job. Last one. Now hold your arms up towards the sky. Let's finish with some pulses up and up. Just for eight, seven, six, you can do it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hold your hips high, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze and roll your hips down vertebra by vertebra. Well done. From here, let's shuffle our feet forward just a little bit, but keep them hip distance apart. Hands go behind our head, elbows wide, and lift your head and shoulders, chin tucked in. Extend your left leg long. Exhale, draw right elbow to left knee. Inhale, come back through center. Then exhale, kick the left leg up, drawing elbow to the leg. So exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, kick. Inhale, center. So you're alternating between pulling the bent knee towards your elbow and then kicking the leg up nice and straight. Last one, hold your leg extended. Take your hands behind the back of your calf or behind your thigh, wherever you can reach, and extend your right leg long. Let's pump the leg in two times and switch. So it's exhale, exhale, inhale, switch. Exhale, exhale, inhale, switch. Really stretching the legs out, using our abdominals. Try to keep your shoulders nice and relaxed. Last one, and rest your head back down. Guess what? We have that whole series again on our other legs. So hands behind your head, elbows wide, lift your head and shoulders, extend your right leg. Exhale, pull left elbow to right knee, inhale through center. Exhale, kick the leg up, finding that twist and inhale through center. So alternating with one knee bent and then with the leg straight. Nice exhaling each time you twist and inhale as you come back through center. Last one, let's hold the leg extended. Now you can do what we did last time or keep the legs straight and just twist side to side. Just for six more. Five, you can do it. Four, nice long legs. Three, two, and one. Well done. Hug your knees in, rest your head and take nice deep breaths. Extend your legs long and reach your arms by your ears. Let's perform our roll up. So inhale, roll yourself up. Exhale, reach for your toes, drawing your navel back. Then inhale, roll yourself down vertebra by vertebra. Exhale, arms sweep by your ears. Keep going, inhale as you roll up. Exhale as you round forward. Inhale as you come back down. And exhale, arms sweep overhead. You have two more of these. This is a really nice massage for our spine. Last one and hold in your forward fold. Taking a moment to feel a nice stretch in the back of your thighs. Option to flex your feet and draw your toes back towards your chest, lifting through your heart center and then release. Good job, everyone. Let's give our abdominals a little bit of a break now and get into the backs of our arms. So hands underneath shoulders, fingertips pointed forward. Bend your knees, make sure your feet are hip distance apart and lift your hips up nice and high. On your inhale, bend your elbows and exhale, press. So inhale, bend, exhale, press. This is really good for our tricep muscles and getting into the back of our arms. 
Make sure here that you're really pressing through your shoulders, keeping your shoulders away from your ears. Hold your arms straight now. Exhale, lower your hips down towards the mat and inhale, press them up. So exhale, lower, inhale, lift. Last one, hold your hips high. Let's pulse the elbows down and down. So a little bend and bend just for six, five, four, three, ouch, two, and one. Well done. Press your hips up a little bit further and then release them down. Release your arms forward, round your spine back just enough so that you can lift your knees coming into your boat pose or teaser position. We hold here just for a few deep breaths. So take nice big inhales and exhales, really relaxing your shoulders down and back. One last deep breath, inhale and exhale, release. Good job. Guess what? Let's do that series again. So hands underneath shoulders, fingertips pointed forward, lift your hips up. Let's bend our elbows, bend and press, bend and press. So inhale as you bend, exhale as you press, Keeping your glutes nice and high here, so we're still squeezing our glutes. And last one, hold your arms straight. Let's lower the hips down and lift them up. Now this time, if you want more of a challenge, see if you can send your glutes back through your hands, really forcing your abdominals to work. Last one, hold your hips high. Let's pulse our elbows down and down just for eight more keep breathing seven six five four three two and one well done release your hips down release your arms forward and let's lift our legs back up to our boat pose relax your shoulders down and back and take nice deep breaths this is the last boat pose that you do. So just focus on your breath and try to enjoy it. Okay, one last big inhale and exhale and release. Well done. Okay, from here, let's come on down to the right side of our body. Down on your right elbow, rest your head in your hand and create one long line with your body. Now you can either bend your top knee and press the ball of your foot into the mat as I have, or place your knee down onto the mat in front of your hip if that feels more comfortable. But I'm gonna keep my knee open and my ball of the foot pressing down into the mat. Exhale, lift the bottom leg and inhale lower. So this exercise is really going to get into our inner thighs. So I want you to focus on using the inner thigh of your right leg to lift your leg up as high as you can and then lower back down. On your next one, hold your leg lifted and let's just alternate flexing our right foot and pointing. So you just flex and point, breathing naturally here trying to keep our right leg as lifted as we can. And I still want you to think of lifting up through the side of your waist so you're keeping your abdominals nice and engaged. Last one, hold your foot pointed and let's lift the leg up and up. So nice lifts and lifts. Again, using your inner thigh here to lift your leg up. Let's do 10 more, nine, Eight, you can do it. Seven, little higher. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Hopefully, you felt the burn in your inner thigh on that one. Pop yourself up onto your elbow now. Make sure your legs are at a 90 degree angle so your shins are parallel with the mat. Lift the top leg and extend the top leg back in line with your hip. Let's start by drawing tiny little circles with our top leg. So nice circles here. Option to bring your left hand behind your head with your elbow nice and wide. And now reverse the circle, taking it the other way. And hold from here. 
let's pull our left knee in towards our chest as we draw our left elbow down to meet our left knee. So exhale as you pull the knee forward, crunching through your abdominals and inhale as you extend the leg back out. You have three more of these. Try to stay nice and lifted through the side of your waist and keep pressing down through your right shoulder. Last one, hold the leg extended. Let's kick the leg forward now, flexing the foot and then point your toes and slide the leg back. So inhale as you kick the leg forward, exhale as you kick the leg back. Flex as you kick forward, point as you kick back. Good, so in this movement, we're trying to keep our leg at exactly the same height and avoiding any rocking through our spine. So we're trying to keep the rest of our body nice and still. Last one, hold the leg extended back. Rotate your chest so that it's pointed down towards the mat. Flex your foot and let's bend our knee and extend. So really squeezing your heel in towards your glute and then extending your leg out nice and straight, finding that squeeze through our glute. Keep pulling up through your abdominals. Nice breaths here. I know that this is a really challenging one for our glutes. Last one, let's point our toes and lift the leg up and up to finish. So lift and lift. Let's do four more, three, two, and one. Well done. Release the leg down. Take both hands down onto the mat and lift your chest, feeling a nice release through the side of your waist. And gently come out of that. Let's stretch it out. So inhale, reach your right arm up towards the ceiling. Exhale, side bend to your left. And then bring your right elbow down, reaching your left arm now by your ear. Let's do that one more time. Right arm reaches over and then left arm reaches over, feeling a nice release through the side of our waist. Beautiful. Guess what? Let's do that whole series again on the other side. So come down onto your left elbow now, resting your head in your hands. Create one long line with your body. Take your top foot in front of your bottom leg, or remember you could always drop that knee on the mat in line with your hip, whatever feels comfortable for you. Once you're in your comfy position, exhale, lift your bottom leg, inhale, lower. So exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Really using your inner thigh here to lift your leg up as high as you can. But remember, although we are working the legs in this exercise, I don't want you to forget about your core. So keep lifting up through the side of your waist, keeping your core nice and strong. Hold the leg lifted. Let's alternate flexing the foot and pointing. So you flex and point, keeping the legs super still, nice and lifted. We're just flexing and pointing the foot. Last one, hold the toes pointed and let's pulse the leg up and up. So nice lifts and lifts. Try to keep your hips stacked on top of one another. So there's a tendency to rock back, opening your top hip. I want you to keep drawing that top hip forward. Let's do four more, three, two, and one. Well done, release that leg down. Should have felt that burn. And let's prop ourselves up onto our left elbow now. Bend your knees at a 90 degree angle. Lift your top knee and extend the leg back in line with your hip. Hand can be behind your head, elbow wide. Let's draw circles with our top leg. So just like what we did on the other side, we're focusing on pulling up through the side of our waist and pressing down with our left shoulder. Now reverse the circle, taking it the other way. Try to keep your chest nice and parallel to the front of the room, really trying to stay nice and lifted. Last one, pull your knee towards the chest 
and then extend it back. Exhale, pull the knee forward, drawing the elbow to your knee and inhale, extend it back. Good job. So this is really great, not only for our glutes, but also our abdominals. Let's do one more and hold your leg extended back. Let's keep the leg forward now as we flex our foot and then kick the leg back as we point our foot. So inhale as you kick forward, exhale as you kick back. You have six more of these. Really trying to move that leg all at the same height and avoiding any extra rocking through your upper body. So really using your abdominals here to keep everything nice and still. It's just the leg moving. And let's do one more. Hold the leg back. Turn your chest towards the mat. Place your left hand down. Flex your top foot. Let's bend our knee and extend. So really squeezing your heel in towards your glute feeling a nice squeeze through your glute as well as your hamstring. You have three more of these. Keep lifting up through your abdominals. And last one, point your toe and let's lift the leg up and up. You can do it. Six more, five, four, three, two, and one well done take both hands down onto the mat lift your chest really opening through your heart center feeling a nice stretch and gently come out of that let's go back to those mermaid stretches so stretch your left arm over and then bring your left elbow down to the mat reaching your right arm over one more time feeling a nice release through the side body and come back through center. Beautiful job, everyone. That was a tough little series, I know. From here, let's come down to the front side of our body. Open your legs so they are mat distance apart, and then bring your elbows in line with your shoulders. So you're cactusing your arms. Draw your navel up towards your spine, and then inhale, lift your chest and your arms off the mat. Exhale, come back down. So really using the strength of your back muscles here to lift your chest and your arms up off the mat. Try to keep your gaze down towards the mat to make sure that your spine stays nice and straight. On your next one, hold your chest lifted Exhale, pull your elbows in by your waistline and then inhale, reach them forward by your ears. So exhale, pull, inhale, reach. Exhale and inhale. Keep drawing your navel in towards your spine. You have four more of these and three and two. Last one, hold your elbows in by your waistline reach your arms back behind you, maybe lift up through your chest a little bit further. Take one last deep breath and release back down. Take your hands underneath your shoulders, close your legs and press back into a child's pose just for a moment to release any tension through your back. Then let's come forward again, back onto the front side of our body. Stack your hands, elbows nice and wide, and rest your head on your hands. Legs are mat distance apart, bend your knees and bring your toes together. Draw your navel in towards your spine. Exhale, lift your legs up towards the ceiling and inhale, come back down. So keeping your knees bent, I want you to reach your toes all the way up towards the sky, really squeezing your glutes. Then on your next one, exhale, lift your legs, inhale, extend your legs long, 
Then exhale, bring your toes back together and lower your knees back down. So exhale, lift, inhale, extend, exhale, toes come together and inhale, lower back down. Let's do this two more times. Really trying to lift our thighs up off the mat using our glutes. Last one, hold your legs extended. Let's lift our chest off the mat now and bring our elbows back into those cactus arms. On your inhale, reach your arms forward, close your legs. Exhale, pull your elbows by your waist, opening your legs. So combining both movements now, exhale, pull and open, inhale, close and stretch. Last one and hold, reach your arms back behind you, lift through your chest, take one last deep breath and lower back down. Well done. Press yourself back to a child's pose and take a well-deserved rest. Okay guys, you will be happy to know that we are almost at the end of class. So let's come into a tabletop position now. Hands underneath shoulders, knees directly underneath your hips. Draw your navel up towards your spine and curl your toes under. On your exhale, lift your knees up using your abdominals to find your hovering tabletop position. On your inhale, walk your right foot out, then your left foot out. Then exhale, walk your right knee in, then your left knee in. So just leading with your right foot to start, you step out, out to a plank, then you step in, in, back to that hovering tabletop position. Now let's lead with the left. So left foot steps out, then the right, left foot steps in, then the right. Really pressing through your shoulders here, keeping your abdominals nice and strong. You can do it. I know this is challenging. Last one. And press back into a downward facing dog. Well done, pedal your heels, alternate bending your knees, and now get ready for your final exercise. So ripple your spine forward, coming into a high plank, hands directly underneath your shoulders. Lower down onto your right elbow, then your left, then press up with your right, then your left, leading with the right arm to start. I think you all know this exercise and I'm sure you love it keeping everything nice and still. Last one with the right arm. And now let's lead with the left. So lower the left elbow, right, press up left and right. Try to keep your hips nice and still, really using the strength of your shoulders and the strength of your abdominals. Last time, you can do it. And now lower down onto your forearms. We finish our workout today holding a really strong forearm plank. So really press through your shoulders, tuck your hips under and lift up through your abdominals. We hold here for 10, nine, eight, you can do it, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done, lower your knees. Press back into a child's pose and take nice deep breaths. Feel free to take your hands back towards your feet to release any tension through your shoulders, especially after all of that plank work that we did. Then reach your hands forward again and let's come back to our kneeling position. Exhale, round your spine, gaze towards your navel. Inhale, arch your spine, look slightly up towards the sky. And again, exhale, round. And inhale, arch. Coming back to our breath here. Let's do one more and then return to your neutral spine. 
cross your legs and come to a seated position on your mat. Bring the soles of your feet together, your knees are apart. Inhale, lengthen your spine, open your chest and exhale, fold forward, hinging forward from your hips. Trying to keep your spine as straight as you can so you feel a really nice release through your hip flexors and the outside of your glutes. Then lift your chest, extend your right leg out by your side and then inhale, sweep your left arm up towards the ceiling and exhale, side bend over to your right, reaching towards your right toes. If you're feeling super flexible today, you could flex your right foot and see if you can reach onto your toes. Then come back up, turn your chest so that it's parallel to the top of your thigh. Take a nice inhale and exhale, forward fold, bringing your navel towards the top of your thigh really breathing into this stretch and then roll on up. Let's switch sides, extend your left leg out, bend your right knee, inhale, reach your right arm up and exhale, side bend over to your left, turning your chest up towards the sky. Option to flex your left foot and see if you can hold on to your toes, feeling a deeper stretch. And then inhale, come back up, turn your chest towards your toes and then exhale, forward fold, bringing your navel towards the top of your thigh. Taking nice deep breaths here, really thanking your body for all the hard work it just did. Then gently roll on up. Let's take a quick moment to stretch out our glutes. So bring your right foot over your left thigh, opening your right knee. Make sure that foot is flexed and really lift through your chest, straightening your spine as much as you can, feeling a nice release. And then switch legs, making sure that left foot is flexed now. Really lifting through your chest, taking nice deep breaths. and release. Cross your legs, finding a nice comfortable position. Inhale, reach your left arm up and exhale, twist over to your right, looking over your right shoulder, feeling a nice release through your spine and back through center. Other side, inhale, right arm lifts, exhale, twist over to your left, gently looking over your left shoulder really wringing out your spine and back through center. Let's finish with one last big inhale, sweeping your arms up and exhale, bringing your hands down to prayer. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this longer full body workout. If you enjoyed this workout, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, share this workout with a friend, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much, everyone, and I'll see you next time.